That's a great celebration, not just for the goal, but of a big man. Great career. Uh, transition's going well, I suppose. The last couple of years of my playing career, I really wanted to go down a coaching avenue and um, got a taste of it whilst I was still playing. But yeah, really excited now to um, go out at full steam in my head and, and have a good crack at it. Uh, yeah, I suppose on the sideline, you get a really good understanding of what the players are feeling. Um, you can give them the feedback, or I can give them vision straight away. So whether that's anything from um, inside stoppage stuff to their rut craft to mids that come off the bench to, to setups around the ground. So I relay um, a lot of messages and rely heavily on Pikey in the box where um, we'll go through a number of scenarios and, and speak to each other throughout the game about what the game's telling us and, and what we can try and expose the opposition with. I think Coxie's smarts with football is just um, sensational, so to, for us to still have him at the club is a great asset, especially for you know for Nick and Scotty Lysett and Callum Sinclair and even um, Fraser McGuinness in the ruck has been helping a lot, so uh, he probably found it hard at first because he you know he probably could still be playing footy, um, just he's, he's just that good, so I think he's, he's managed it extremely well between a coach-player relationship, um, he can still give a, a very good message to the players. Um, but he's just he's a good bloke and he understands it, so I think he's not only about to help the rucks, but he's about to help um, for the midfield and, and players in general. He's done the right thing, the team thing, the post the goal! Will be He's Cox off the left, this will be popular! Coxie kicks a ripper! And look at them come for him! The advantage of um, playing with the players that I now coach is I understand how they operate, I understand um, what buttons need to be pushed to get them to play good footy and, and also know a lot of their background since they first got to the football club. So um, the mentoring side of it becomes a lot easier as well is, um, because I know what they were like as a 17, 18 year old to, to where they are now and in their development and i um, really excited about hopefully them playing really good footy. We are pretty fortunate in the role we're in at the moment. Um, not many guys get someone fresh out of the game from of his quality to, to coach you. So um, yeah, we're pretty lucky. He um, he did a bit of it the past two years, but obviously had to worry about his own game, his own performance. So to have him at a, a full-time capacity, um, yeah, it, we're really lucky. You know, I suppose that was one of the things that um, really attracted me to coaching at West Coast. It's a new coaching group with different ideas, but yeah, they are young and and really enthusiastic, and and I suppose we do we get along really well with each other. So that's. Obviously, we're united when we get to the footy club, but also we try and play some basketball together and, and mix up socially as well, which is a really good balance. And I suppose, you know, I probably carried the team a little bit throughout the basketball campaign. So, um, Pratty and Braids, very disappointing. <laughs>